Hello everyone, welcome back to all the mods gravitas. So, I've sheared all my sheep and I have made myself a insulated leather tunic which goes in your body slot in curios, which is very interesting. Which is getting rather cold right now. Um, and I also accidentally did that instead of uh, making some more wool cloth because you can use the wool cloth in a loom but you need four of them to get some white wool. And I am, in fact, would you sod off? Thank you. Yeah, I am, in fact, trying to get wool right now because um, I have a plan. In fact, I'm going to put the plan up in the corner here. One sec. Right, here we go. Here is the plan. Um, don't worry about this, by the way, because if I... See, there we go. Now I, I... Yeah, it was only like that because I was in creative for a little bit. But anyway, this is the plan. Uh, I can't remember who it was that said in my comments to start using the create drills. Because they're really, really, really useful. And what we can do is we can do nine... Yeah, nine create drills in a 3x3 three three pattern. And you know that uh, I've been... Uh, there's an area, I think, over in this direction somewhere. What I dug out like a little three by three and then what you do is you, you go all the way down and then you you place the the supports and then you can dig out and then you place more supports and so on and so on so that that is my plan I, I'm planning to use the create drills and I believe this is all I need in fact I probably don't need this so I could go ahead and make all of this uh, this one requires the iron plates so yeah that requires iron plates this requires just regular iron so I need at least nine to get all the drills I want, because three by three, right? Um, oh, that's the point. That's the reason I wanted to use uh, the sails and the windmill bearing is because. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there you go. This is this is flipping turned into like a disaster area because of uh, snow. Should probably cover it over, to be fair. And this one over here keeps turning into. Uh, into ice. You're not flipping it, see? I'm going to leave this one open because whenever I break this, I need some way to get out. Eh, there you go. Uh, I need to drink some water, but basically the whole plan there is once I've drank this, eh, there you go. You use a windmill bearing. I, I forgot about this windmill, but this this is power, and I don't think we can really use power quite yet. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I've got an iron bloom in here. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to use a windmill bearing to then use a pulley to then drop down some drills, and the drills are just mine all the way down. I don't think I can make a sequence gear shift yet. So gear shift. I think this one, yeah. I don't think this is in my repertoire for now, but yeah, because this one requires the aluminium, which definitely not going to do. By the way, uh, I don't know if this is a thing, but I think the core sampler will actually give you ores. Now, I did ask one of the devs yesterday if that was the case, and then I was like, no, no, wait, 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 don't tell me, because I want to find out on my own. So we are going to try and make a core sampler. Core sampler. Right there. So we do need to get some steel eventually. I mean, that would be ideal. I mean, this does... To, to make it cheaper on ourselves, we kind of do need to get, uh, uh, yeah, one of these aluminium nuggets. So... But then to get aluminium, it would be easier to use the core sampler. I think that's how the core sampler works. Don't, don't let me know, because I don't think we're going to get the core sampler this episode. Uh, but don't put anything in the comments, because I want to see it, if you know what I mean. I want to make sure that that's a thing. Also, I did realise that you could do this, and it would stop snow from going down. Oh yeah, I made a new door as well, because it was annoying me that we didn't have uh, an easy way to get to our, our machines out here. Um, if your uh, bloomery doesn't work, by the way, it might be because snow has formed on this block right here. That happened to me a couple of times. 
because uh, I did make quite a bit of uh, of iron. Another thing that I made was uh, I made some shears, and these are perfect shears, as in uh, I perfectly made them. Uh, and the way that you do that is raw iron knife blades. So you need two of those and some flux, and then you you know when you uh, when you get like double ingots, for example, and you put two ingots in here and then you shift and you right click with uh, the the hammer. That's all you do is you just stick them in when they're they're like weldable and you shift right click and you get yourself some shears. No reason why I did raw iron over anything else. It's just because. Um, plus, I went and did a sh absolute ton of mining. If I go over to my iron area. So, I stuck on a little bit of TV yesterday, and I was just chillaxing for once, because it's been uh, kind of a hard couple of uh, couple of weeks recently with work and stuff, so I was like, I need something. And then uh, I was mining, and then I was like, oh, there's a lot of uh, iron ore up above. Like, if I stick a torch down, there's a lot of iron ore up here, so I was like, you know what we could do? We could uh, We could mine up. Actually, no, this one here is the one that I mined up to. And the last block that I mined, which was always precarious, right? Because it's outside the range of the uh, the supports right here. If you didn't know, the supports actually go... So this one here is supporting... Oh, oh flipping egg. It's supporting the one above it. Uh, eh, there we go. This one is supporting this one, so you can mine it. And... Ow. Oh, crap, I don't have food on me. Uh, yeah, the one down there is, um... Oh, do I have any food? I just realised, because it's getting, like, quite late in the day. Like, uh, season-wise. Oh, why did I come over here? Oh, no. Don't die, please. Eh. Right. Help go. This one? No. No, this one. Carrots. Save me carrots. Save me carrots. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that was scary. Okay, good. <laughs> I could also uh, chop these melons up. I might chop one melon up because and that's, that's a good bit of food right there as well. I think I can just do one of those and I get four bits of melon slices. You like fruit. I forgot about that. Uh, but yeah, I tried mining down there. I actually mined out a really decent area, and then I was like, ooh, I'm getting greedy, and I'll go up one. Also, look, you can stack your, your ingots. I think that looks really cool. This is my uh, cast iron that I had. And then shift, and then you click. Uh, I did make some more copper, just a little bit of copper, and uh, some more zinc as well. Because I was trying to figure out how to do this. And I was like, surely I'm going to need like brass casings, for example. And uh, it turns out I don't need brass casings. So that's pretty good. Uh, but that was because I was going to make some brass. And I was going to try out the alloy kiln. Because we do have the alloy kiln. And I have not used it yet. This thing. Uh, this thing is currently full of creosote, which is a bit of a pain. Also, it's stopped again. Has it got water? No, the water stopped again. Yeah, this is not the best thing. I might uh, swap this out for a windmill eventually, when I get enough. Uh, when I get enough wool. But speaking of, I do want to make. I've moved my loom, by the way. I've got two looms out here now. So I've got one right here. Just put a bit of light down for you. There we go. Got a loom there. Got a loom there. Uh, I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did at the other place, which is get rid of a few of these and then... That annoys me. I didn't put that in the, the like direct line of sight of this, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I did share all of these, and uh, that, that 
brought their wear and tear down by two, well, uh -oh, up, I should say, by 2%. And I don't know how long it takes for them to recover their wool. I'm quickly going to go and grab the honey that's in here. I uh, don't think we need beeswax for anything right now. I think the only reason we need... Uh, let, let's get inside, because... Warmth. Beeswax. This thing. Oh. Don't tempt me. We could make some sealed... Or oh, what is this? Embedded pipe. Okay. We could make some sealed bricks at some point and make ourselves one of those... Um, uh, what do you call it? It's like a... Not a cellar? Is it a cellar? I don't remember exactly, but... Yeah, I tried to organise my chest a little bit and then I gave up for a bit because... Eh. <laughs> I think what I might do eventually... I'm not going to do it now because we've got other things to be focusing on. But eventually I might go and get more sheep. Even though we've got a ton in here. I think sheep are super useful for us because of uh, the potential to make wool. And just so you know, you need wool for this. You need wool for the white sails. And you actually get eight wool out of this. You get eight whole wool. How the heck did I make this then? Speaking of, I can have a sleep. But I don't remember how I made my bed. Obviously, if you've been binging this, you've probably... Uh, my series, I mean. You probably know how I made this bed, but... The, um, I feel like the recipe has changed slightly, so... Yeah, because I definitely didn't get four wool, did I? Or did it only give me... Oh, I do not remember, but anyway, yeah. Uh, we are going to try and get some wool so we can make some sails, so we can make some windmill bearings and windmills, and... Uh, I also need some super glue. Doesn't look that bad, we just need bone meal in some lime water. I think we've got lime water as well, so I just need to get some bone meal, which I believe you just do like this. Oh, brilliant. Uh, I did not mean to fall down here, but whilst we're here... I don't think there's anything blocking down there. At one point... I oh, know, look, you can see that. There's an icicle. And that was uh, that was screwing me up as well. Hopefully this water will clear off the... Yeah, there we go. Uh, you might also notice that I'm in... Uh... I don't have the shaders on again. I always like say to myself, remember to put the shaders on. Because it's nicer looking and people will appreciate that. Uh, but then I forgot, so apologies. Bone meal. 10% phosphorus. That's good to see. Right, so... With this, I can just uh, I can put this in... I think these ones out here. Yes, there we go. I'm going to do two. Why am I doing... Oh, glue. Glue is the reason. I seal that up and this one's empty. This one's got enough. There you go. So that'll make us glue in about eight minutes. So we'll come back to that. Uh, if it was just about becoming nighttime, I could put them in there, go to sleep, wake up, and they'd be done. God, these icicles are everywhere. <laughs> Excellent. Right, anyway. Uh, I'm not sure what the plan is now. I think... I need to do some more iron making, so doing my, my raw blooms. Ah, ah, that's, that's the plan. I need to drink as well. I also need to burn up a bunch more. Oh, you little sod. Come back. Little rat got into our base. Excellent. Oh, my goodness. It's so... Yeah, there we go. I need to remember to shut the doors. <laughs> uh, this door, by the way, I nicked off of one of the villagers. So, yeah, that's why I've got uh, an oak door instead of uh, an ash door right there. Uh, that's fine. I don't think you got much from here. But all of this is rotten food. I'm not entirely sure what we do with rotten food, if I'm honest. 
Interesting. Right, anyway. Um, large vessel, we can plonk you there for now. Yeah, not sure what we are going to do today. Probably just um, make ourselves a bunch more iron. And then I kind of want to make one of these. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. I need the wool for this. So I might plan out how much iron I need. I need one here. I've got all of the igneous zinc casing thingies. I think that'll be enough. Possibly. I'm not sure. Um, also, I need gears and stuff. And this one, yeah, so that's nine for the, the mechanical drills. I need one for this. I don't need any for that. So one, one, and then nine. So maybe I've got one too many. I think I do. I was kind of planning this out as I went. Also, you can make treated wood scaffolding, which acts like scaffolding, except you can't walk into it. You can walk up the side of it, basically. But I thought this looked really cool, so we might end up using this quite a bit. Um, the only thing that I'm trying to think of is how the heck do we get down in our mine shaft if we wanted to go all the way down in a mine shaft or like how do we get back get the the loot all the way back up that's that's the only thing that i'm a bit like confused about maybe it's this that i was thinking of the uh the gear shift rather than the sequence gear shift which would be super easy and that uses the last igneous that we have because I think what you can do with this is you can just... Oh, actually, it's got a ponder. Let's have a look. Yeah, so if you give this a redstone signal, you see this is... Yeah, it just turns it the other way. That's perfect. Okay, we need one of those as well then. Cool, so we got a plan right now. I, I think I'm going to start on making the glue first. But to do that, I also need, like, you know, iron... So I need to look through all the iron. So one, ten, because I'm going to make nine mechanical drills, right? So that's ten, fourteen. I think it's just fourteen that I need. And I've got eighteen right here. I might as well do all eighteen because, you know, that's this twice. Interesting. Okay, well, I also need to... Get a bunch of uh, of wood and I forgot I can come out this way. Get a bunch of wood so I can clear out all of the creosote. Oh, and I, I swapped my floor out. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't think I mentioned it yet. But yeah, this is kind of cool. I like the treated wood. It's always been one of my favorite like uh, textures out there. Oh, I actually have some wood. That's good. Yeah. Just close that so the rats don't get in. You're kidding me. It's already frozen over again. It's bad enough I can't put water down. Because, uh, it, wow, you've seen the bucket recipe, right? Which um, brings up a question that I have for you guys. Would you rather me do a bunch bunch more create stuff? And, like, focus on immersive and create? Or uh i could go and get steel like probably right now well we've got enough iron to make the uh the steel blast furnace thingy we could get into that but i'm gonna work on this thing today and then if you guys uh want me to get into well, crack into the steel we're gonna need to do it anyway because of uh the core sampler but yeah i think should i start with terra firma craft and finish it off and then get into mods, or... I, I feel like the interactions between Terra Firma Craft and the mods is the most interesting part of this. But let me know, anyway. Oh, for goodness sake, it didn't let me. <laughs> it just was like, nah, you know what? I'm going to freeze over again, so... Ah, oh, flipping heck. Okay, I'm just going to leave that for now. Hopefully I'll get more charcoal, but... I have got five bits of charcoal to try and get all of these iron blooms done. And I've got kind of a system now. I'm trying to find like a good pattern for it. And then uh, then it'll be just like bang, 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 done. Just to show you how much I've got this down now, I can chuck this in.
There you go. That's how easy it is for me now. And there we go. We got ourselves a ton of... Oh, it's night time as well. Uh, this should mean that the glue has finished. I just realised we need a um, ingot as well. No, uh, a nugget. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I need to quickly... I have a plan. I have an absolute plan. This stuff here, the, the ash fallen leaves, makes it so that the water doesn't go away, doesn't freeze. Ah, genius. This means this will always work. Surely. Yeah, there we go. Ah, amazing. Oh, I'm glad that that works. <laughs> ah, there you go. There's a tip for you. If, uh... If you were looking for something like that, there we go. Uh, anyway, I went out there so I could chuck all of these. Wait. Yeah, okay. So, oh, they already cooled down. That's interesting. I want to see what they look like if I stick them on here. How cool is that? This is the only way you should store ingots. Right, there we go. There's the nuggets that we need. Uh, glue. There we go. There's a bit of glue for us. And a little bit more glue. Perfect. Seal those over just in case. Uh, I need one, two, three. Yeah, I need five iron plates. So stick them on like that. That'll bonk for us. Bonk. Yeah, I need to wait for this to finish. I really want to use the alloy kiln, and I don't know why. I mean, we could n not use it and it'll be fine, but anyway, that, that is all of these done. Oh, I need a lime. I need a lime dye. I wonder if any of these will give lime dye. Lime dye. Cause I, yeah, you can mill up. Oh, it seems to be any flower, you can just mill it up. Oh, okay, not any. Red tulips, pink tulips. Interesting. Right, I'll take the uh, the hoe. Oh my goodness, they're underneath the snow right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go on a bit of an adventure whilst it's, you know, the ones that are outside my chunk boundaries where the snow is, is still there. Hopefully we find some pink tulips or is that little white lilies or something, right? Ugh, I can't remember now. Anyone know how to actually get saplings out of these uh, these trees? Because I used a scythe on a uh, an olive tree in one of my previous episodes, and then I was like, "Oh, I only got fruity leaves or whatever they're called." I'm just not having any luck finding these pink tulips. Oh, there might be some over there. Yeah, I can see some like regular flowers and stuff over there. So perfect. Ah, Terra Firmacraft was hiding them. They what? Oh, there are about. They're just. Uh, yeah, I, all of their leaves or their petals had fallen off, right? Because of the, the temperature. It's dandelion right there. Poppy. These are good anyway, because we can use them for uh, the, the bees eventually. Ooh, Oxide Daisy as well. Nice. Ooh, nice. Bit of copper right there. Might be a good place to... Set the mining thingy up. Right, I'm just milling up some pink tulips. Fingers crossed we get a lime dye. Doesn't look like we're going to get there, though. There's some pink. Eh. Oh, okay. We only got pink out of that, but we need lime. I think we specifically need lime, which is a 10% chance. I think it was 10% on the uh, the other ones as well. Red? Red dye is not bad. I might dye our bed red, just because I prefer the old style look. Uh, what about you? You give green 5% chance of green. So, ooh, we should get a green, and then how do we make white dye? White. Oh, bone meal. Easy. Okay, well, I'll mill up all of these poppies then. Fingers crossed we get a green. I'm going to stop it as soon as we get a green as well. Ah, oh, damn it. 
I didn't get any. Didn't get any green or anything right there. Because lime, d we definitely saw that lime dye comes from the tulips, right? Yeah, tu oh moss. How do I get moss? Ow. Oh, that's that's a pain. Okay, we'll have to try and figure out another way of getting uh, lime dye then. I mean, ooh, interesting. Right, I have got some of the. Oh no, I don't. Well, we found some a second ago, right? I'm gonna go. Uh, okay, it's currently night time. How are we doing it on charcoal? Because oh, we're very close. Uh, let's grab all of these, chuck them in. I did go chop down like a bunch of trees over in this direction. So we have enough wood to make all of this. But whenever I am about to go to sleep, I always have a look to see if I've got enough to make uh, another iron bloom. So if we look in here, right up there. Yeah, we've got loads. Eh, there we go. So, um, yeah, I might wait for this to finish, and then I'll go up there and I'll do the old iron bloom thing. See, I knew there would be a, a bit of a, a bit of snow in there, and lob them in. Perfect. Do one of those. Let's turn that on. We can have a sleep, and then I'll go find that. Oh God, how did Mala? The 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 green iron? No, the green copper. That's what it's called. Just gonna call it green from now on. Malachite. Ha! There it is. That's what we need. And then we can. It's literally just a quern. Okay. We don't have a quern. Ah. Oh, okay. Right. I am just gonna try and pick up all of these uh these tulips again. Then. Not all of these give uh, lime dye, which is a bit annoying. Uh, the lilacs don't give you anything either. Lilacs are poopy. Let's get, get all of the poppies as well. Yeah, I didn't expect this is what I'd be doing today, if I'm honest. Um, but here we are. <laughs> now, I found a bunch. So I'm going to start with the orange, because orange is my favorite color. And I just know it's going to give us lime dice straight away. That is... That, that wasn't planned. I will say that was definitely not planned. I was just super lucky, and I lucked out by saying that. Anyway, right, so now we've got the lime dye. We've got this. Oh, no. Yeah, let's do that. We've got ourselves some super glue. Uh, yeah, we need this because we're going to glue everything together eventually. Oh, no. I've got a bunch of... Okay, right. I need to... Because, yeah, these... These last longer. Uh, also, I need to go feed one of my sheep. <gasps> yeah. One of my sheep is not 100% familiarized. Where is it? That one. Oh, nearly. Nearly 100%. They've just... Uh... I'm going to keep these on me because this will be my food for now on. Uh, where is my shears? Because I'm definitely going to shear them again. Because then we'll get enough wool and we are good. Gib, thank you. They always try and get out, I swear. Uh, I can actually put these in with... Oh, no, they, they, they won't go in there. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, I need to put this back up. Thank you. Stick that away for now. That is, I think, enough wool to make wool, if you know what I mean. <laughs> There's the spindle. There it is. Yeah, we can make two more. Oh, it's outside now. I've changed where the loom is. So what you do with this is you need 16 yarn. And you slap it on like this. And then you just hold right click and it does like the weaving process. And you can see it sort of make the, uh, the pattern of wool right on there. It does take quite a while and... Yeah, I don't know if there's... Is there a good way to automate this later? 
Probably using machines you can do it. Uh, now I need to figure out where I put the rest of my, my wool. There we go, got it. So we can use this one over here. And now this is going to turn into eight wool. Ha, huh, amazing. Oh, wait, wait. I just remembered the bed doesn't use wool. It uses, um, you know, the, the, the whatever it is, the, this stuff. It uses wool cloth. Yeah, there we go. See? Needs just wool cloth. That's how I made a bed. Okay, cool. So with this, I can now make the sails. I do need to empty my inventory, so I'm going to do that real quick. Now, whilst I'm at it, whilst I was uh, just putting stuff away... I am going to make some insulated clothing so we don't freeze to death. That does mean we don't have the armor anymore, but it, yeah. Also, these go down quite quickly in durability, but at least we won't freeze to death, I don't think. We need to get some boots at some point, but we can do that whenever we get more wool out of these guys. Uh, but yeah, let me finish this off. Okay, I am going to make the sails first because they're the most annoying ones. Uh, we only need eight, but we can speed it up if we have more. So I think I'm going to start with eight and then we'll save the rest for later. Uh, this one here, we just need some shafts. So I've got a shaft in here. Okay, we need some stone. We need some slabs. Uh, okay, I have no... No wood, so let's get the saw. It's birch logs, and birch actually looks really good in this pack. Like hats off because birch is always the grossest looking to me. I don't know if that's just me though. I did get some raw slate. So there is the windmill, and we can set this up, and it will give us rotational power. In fact, I could set another one of these up outside. And that could power all of this. And then we wouldn't need... But but we've got the water wheels out there. And we figured out a good way of continually having the water wheels run in. So, okay. I think we're good with that. So, we can tick those two off. Next up, we need to grab this out. I don't know if I've got enough of... Oh, I do. The andesite alloy or igneous zinc alloy as it's called in this pack so there's a bunch of those we also need a rope pulley oh that's going to use up some wool anyway i'm glad i didn't use all the wool then Whew. that would have been a right pain in the bum vertical gearbox which is just a gearbox okay i can make make some of those easy enough ah i'm completely out of ah that makes sense so i'm completely out of uh cogs Ah, that was what I wanted to do. I wanted to make some shafts. There we go. And then... Let's grab some treated wood. I think I only need five of these. So I am actually just going to do five. So there's the gearbox, which we can turn into a vertical gearbox straight away. And then we might have a little bit of redstone. Yeah, there's the tiniest bit of redstone right there. And then the last thing that we need is... A lever. Perfect. Right, I am going to dump all of this stuff off from my inventory again. Why do I have more ingots? Oh, yeah, yeah, because uh, I made extra because... We had enough. You know where this is going to go, though. Haha. <laughs> and there we go. These are almost everything that we need. I think... Haha, <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted to see. We are also going to need eight chests. Because this drill mechanism thing is going to need, like, chests to put stuff in. I'm going to build this thing, and then... Uh, it will mine all the way down to bedrock for us. So where is it? Let's do it around this area. Okay. I think this looks like a good place to do it. Like this nine right here. Or maybe this nine. 
or this nine. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna just quickly mark it with some, nope, that's not it, right there, thank you. And now what I'll do is, um, I'll just start building it, because why not? Okay, here is what I've come up with. Uh, this is really difficult to show in survival, but basically we got the windmill bearing going into the gear shift, which I still need to put a lever on. Can I get back up here? Oh, I can, good. So I can stick it there, so I can turn it off and on, and that will just change the direction. Hopefully this is going in the right way that it makes the, the rope pulley go down. The rope pulley isn't actually attached to anything, nor is any of this stuff up here. None of this is attached to anything. The only things that are attached together are all of the mechanical drills and all of the chests on top of the mechanical drills. So now all I have to do is right click this and you can't really see it, but when this does one rotation, which is going to take a little while, it will attach onto the mechanical drill uh, and you can't see the pulley because of, I don't know, some create weirdness right now. But as soon as... Oh, flipping egg. Yeah, it's really difficult. There you go. That's easy enough. This should not be glued onto this, so... Is it still going? Yeah. Uh, by the way, it's placed like this because uh, I accidentally placed it like this. But I think this is still the like fine. I think this is still working. <laughs> As intended. Uh, you need eight because uh, the windmill bearing needs eight to do anything. So this is like the lowest speed it can be. Okay, now it's going to hit this bit. It should. As soon as it gets to there. If I do that. It's going in the wrong flipping direction, isn't it? Okay, if I do that and then... It should connect to this. Eventually, I might need to let this go round one more time, so I'm going to cut. Oh, here we go, here we go. It has indeed... Oh, I didn't want to put that there. Oh, you sod. It has indeed, uh, like, connected right there. You still can't see that... that I've turned my shaders off and everything, but if we were to right-click this, you can see there's the pulley, the rope pulley. And this will go all the way down to bedrock now. And all I need to do is leave this running. This might need to be chunk loaded, to be fair. But, uh, yeah, I didn't think about that. I don't know if you can do chunk loads in this. What's happening here is this windmill bearing is going into the gear shift, which is then being converted. So instead of spinning in one direction, it's spinning in the other. Then over here, we've got the, the gearbox. Hey, hey. That's what I like to see. Although I want those torches back, but it's fine. Anyway, yeah, so this thing here, the, the windmill is basically powering the gearbox, which is powering the rope pulley, which is lowering the mechanical drills. And you actually pass the uh, rotational force via the rope pulley into the mechanical drills. And there we go. And that's just going to spin round and dig all the way down to bedrock for us in a 3x3, three three. so instead of us having to do it and breaking all of our pickaxes. That is one way to do it. That's a really good suggestion by... Uh, I'll pop, pop your name up on on the, on the screen. Uh, comments all the time, and I love it, because they're always really good comments, so... It's weird that the pulley isn't there, though. <laughs> I don't know why that is. I'm going to turn shaders back on, because it's obviously not to do with the shaders. Uh, enable, done. There we go. Oh, you can actually see more with the shaders on. Interesting. Now, as I said before, we could hop up there and add like a bunch more sails and this would just go a little quicker. But the whole point of this is it will dig all the way down. We can sort of sneak and we can have a look down there. We can even lob a torch down there and we can see all of the stuff that's on the walls. And if, for example, we see that on this side here, there's loads of uh, magnetite, we can just reverse the gear shift and that'll pull it all the way back up. And then we can cover this, over, this hole over, for example. 
we can disassemble all of this and we can just move it over slightly and then that will dig down again and so on and so on. I think that will work. I might have to do it here instead. Yeah, because then these will have two blocks on each side so they won't fall. I think that's how that works. But yeah. I think that is kind of all we've got for this episode, unfortunately. I mean, that's still pretty decent. Uh, I must have accidentally glued something there at some point. In fact, we can see what has been glued by... Uh... Yeah, I didn't mean to glue those. I think you can use the wrench for that. I actually haven't made the wrench yet. Wrench. Gold plates, cogwheel, and... Yeah, we could do that. I think we've got a little bit of gold left. And I know where some is. There's there's some over by my, uh, my old iron area. Anyway, right. I'm going to hop back to base, and then we're going to call it an episode... And there we go. Right. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.